But it's not just private schools that are attracting the most motivated kids. Back in Islington in North London, middle class parents compete to send their children to the local church schools. These kinds of schools do well in the league tables and have supportive parents and committed children. In London, more than a quarter of children attend them. St Thomas's Church is affiliated to the local Anglican primary school, St John's, which has amongst the best results of any state school in the area. But tellingly, it's also below the London average for the number of pupils on free school meals. Parents who want to get a place at St John's have to go to the church regularly and for at least a year to get a letter from the vicar. He keeps a strict register of attendance. About 10 years ago, it became much more of an issue around the admission to the school uh, as to whether people were coming to church regularly. And so I thought, well, you know, you could get into arguments about this. Is there a comeback on you, then, if they don't get a place? There could be. Has could. there been? Um, yes, yes. I can, think, I can think of one or two people in the parish who aren't speaking to me. <laughs> He remembered one desperate parent who queried his register. I said, are you actually saying to me, you want me to lie? And they said, no, 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 of course I don't want you to lie. And I said, well, I'm not going to. I actually think the whole system stinks anyway. The one, but the one thing I am not going to do is to, I shall work the system until we can change it. Back in his rather warmer house, he told me how he would change church. I mean, myself, um, um, the quite small. But for the moment, he keeps his register. Kathy yeah, so Ingram is one of the names on it. She wanted her children to go to St John's. When my son was quite small, um, I started attending church. You know, and I, I know that part of that was to do with um, the possibility of getting him into the school. But were you a believer? I'd certainly had a Christian upbringing myself. Um, I suppose there was something about those beliefs that, that were important to me, because otherwise I don't think I would have taken that step. But I, I certainly hadn't been a churchgoer, uh, you know, for years. Church schools have a certain form of selection, which in this odd sort of way is more exclusive than simply distance, because they're asking you to do something more than just live in that yes, area. Yes, they are. So, yes, so they are. I mean... Well, so maybe that's partly what, what I was choosing. Yeah that a little bit more was being asked of me, and if it's being asked of me, it would be expected of every other parent. And that's kind of what I'm looking for. Um, you know, good enough is not enough for my children's education. Oh, I'm sorry, I just, <laughs> I just find it really hard. I mean, I, I know what I want to say, it's just it makes me very... Why do you think it makes you, um, why does it upset you? It's because, you know, my children are my crown jewels. Mm. Because, you know, my children are my crown jewels. Mm. Because, you know, my children are my crown jewels. Mm. And so I obviously want to give them the very best that I can. Mm. And, um... I don't want to have to justify that to anyone. Mm. But the people who live nearby that school who don't go to the church can't have what your children have got, can they? It, well, it, exactly. It's divisive. It's divisive. Um, and I, you know, I don't like it. Mm. Uh, you know, everyone ought to be able to go to the local school. That is not the reality.